Hello, everybody, and welcome to Super Party from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, getting better. My name is Ben Hansen, and I'm passing the ball to Leo. Feed me the rock. And Janet Garcia. Coming your way. Go long, except you'd be saying that. Hello. I'm here. Be long. And then Go Janet on. to Jeff Marquiafava. Hail Mary. <sighs> what is this? Oh, Trivia guys. Tower. Uh, Jeff, I'm, be honest. Have you ever watched a single minute of Trivia Tower? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. I, I watched the. A fake uh, fan. This is wild. Start to the yes, show. Yes, you do. There's obviously a hail mary segment wow, I'm where impressed. the guest can yell hail mary at any time, and then you do a different question. Look at this guy, Min Max fan number one. Uh, this is a show all about being fans. Fans, not of a specific sport, but just about football in general. <laughs> the point is. Uh, every week, we let Patreon supporters vote for which new show we create or continue, and they said, Hit the bricks, Podzorski, Viva Piñata. Um, and they chose Super Party, which is us simulating the upcoming Super Bowl Eventapalooza in NFL Blitz. There's a couple of uh, conundrums here that we'll get into. One of them being, first of all, Leo, you playing Hitman Freelancer was so close to winning, I felt sad that it didn't win i feel terrible about it um all of us going curling in real life like basically a wii sports successor i was like well this is gonna be a lock people said no people said they want to watch us watch nfl blitz and then eat wings and have a super bowl party here so i'm amazed but thank right. you all for your votes we appreciate it i mean it, it's a tradition at this point yeah we did it last year too that's true yep. yeah yeah respect i did stream freelancer my personal channel last night if anybody does want to see that oh that's nice and that channel is youtube.com slash leo vader there we go it's up to you to figure out how to spell it um okay here's what we got so i know we promised nfl blitz and we're giving you nfl blitz the kicker and it's very important in the game of football the <laughs> kicker is it turns <laughs> leo when i'm trying to talk i can't have you interrupt me with your chortles it's really distracting sorry sir okay um but uh, the kicker is that uh NFL Blitz doesn't have CPU versus CPU uh, options. So I went through a bunch of different versions of NFL Blitz. As far as I can figure, and I'm happy to be corrected by the internet, I believe the first NFL Blitz game to have CPU versus CPU option is NFL Blitz Pro from 2003. So I know it's not peak Blitz nostalgia, but it's the best we got because we got to cromp on some wings and really jump into it here. And let's listen to Tara Lowens explain this. Um, hey, w what are we eating here, everybody? Uh, Jeff, um, you're front and center here, man. What do you got? Well, Hanson, uh, I got Buffalo Wild Wings, and let me oh. tell you, they've really gone downhill. Uh, oh, wow. No. Oh, no. I mean, do, do these not just look like bone dry? This is this is supposed to be a sauce, not a dry rub. So I had to, like, make my – I tried to make my own because I got a bottle nice. of the Frank's hot sauce Ooh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, but I have to supplement it. And then look at these – Look at look at the little cups that they put that they put the dipping sauce in oh, now. It's like no. pretty soon they're just gonna give you a lid with it pasted on. Oh, I'm sorry, but and that's that's my rant on Buffalo Wild Wings. They also gave me a soda, Hanson. It was yeah. just carbonated water. They they what? didn't even bother to put any any of the syrup in it. What's going on, <laughs> Buffalo? Wait, that seems more egregious than dry wings that just handed you water. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, that, that's like a dollar soda. I can throw that right in the trash and okay. not feel anything about that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, who wants to be choking on dry wings during the Super Bowl? Well, it's good content for the internet, though. Uh, Janet, what are you eating over there? Um, so I wanted to get um, Wingstop, but they don't open till 1030. As Crow mm. pointed in the chat, this is indeed a breakfast for me. It is 10 a.m. <laughs> in Los Angeles. I have... Um, just like regular hot wings. And then I did do some boneless wings. I don't normally okay. do boneless because okay. they are just nuggets, right? Yep. But I got them just from the Ralph's grocery store. So like that quality is not really going to hit. So I'm like, why don't you just go boneless? It'll probably be decent. Right, and right. I'm drinking a Miller Lite. God Big bless blood. you, Janet. God, I love that. Leo, what do you got? A nice salad? Uh, Yeah, check this out. Hang on, has he got a multiple camera set up? I went with oh. a deconstructed chicken parmesan. Hang on, let's wow. see. It's broken. Okay, there we go. Oh, Leo. Little with the homemade marinara and the a side Caesar salad with the Caesar dressing Grant introduced me to from the holiday stream. From the cozy holiday uh. stream. Damn it, man. I gotta okay. try that. Forget Buffalo Wild Wings. Go to Leo's house next time, Jeff. I'm damn. That's and right. Pairing it with a strawberry basil uh, THC beverage. What is Leo? 
This is impressive as hell, man. Thank you. I thought I was gonna get roasted for not having real wings, but I was gonna I was prepared to defend them as like kind of boneless wings. With the if it was anyone else, they wouldn't be able to get away with this. But for you, yeah. it's charming. You exactly. Know? It's like, oh, look Perfect. at Leo. Like, oh, little Leo's uh, lunch. Leo, I know you probably think that life is unfair, but I will let you know, people like you inherently more than they like most people. Like, you, so like you, no one can get mad at you about anything. And just so you know that throughout your entire life, people, you're, you're get, you have a slight advantage on almost everybody <laughs> in the world. I just want you to appreciate that. I'll use that power responsibly. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, okay, should we get this show on the road, everybody? Oh, actually, um, before we watch football, very sure. importantly, um, it'd be nice if people could take pictures of their meals um, for thumbnail purposes. Just before we have a big pile of bones, you know what I mean? Because we're going to make a freaking elephant graveyard with the amount of bones here today. Thank you, by the way, for the subs. Rich McLaughlin, greatly appreciate it. Oh, I guess um, I got the, I got some buffalo wings from Red Cow. Mm. Decently excited about them. I also got some uh, sweet potato fries. And then uh, I got a big can of Uta pills. Uh, they're not officially a sponsor, but they uh, stocked the mini fridge in the MinMax studio with Uta pills skulls here in I Minneapolis. Hate so. <laughs> They basically did. Yeah, they're, they're very sweet. They're very sweet to us. So thank you, Uta Pills. The greatest brewery in Minneapolis. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, so I set it to a slightly longer um, Did you take a quarter. picture? Or, or... Oh, I'm in, I'm in on your end, so it's nicer. It's not not grabbing oh. a still on my end. I thought you were scrunching down here like a moron. Uh, yeah, sorry, man. It looked really cool, though. <laughs> All right, now comes the real challenge. Jeffum, who is in the Super Bowl? <laughs> don't you, don't you dare. I'm gonna assume it's like the the Patriots and and some crazy uh, the trees like and the Bengals. Okay, the Bengals and the Patriots. Uh, Leo, do you know? I, I'm not trying to shame. I, correct. <laughs> I had to Google it this morning, but do you know, Leo? Absolutely not. I actually wanted to ask you guys if this hat is for a football team. Ooh, the I'm gonna say no. No, I don't feel like, like there's a Boston football team. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. it's it's something else. Oh god. But I know it's the Eagles yep. and um I forgot who the other team is. Oh, I man. did too. It turns out it's the Chiefs, I think. Okay. I'll start with the Eagles because I'm more confident about that. And then chat you can tell us if we're way off. Um okay. E Eagles. Philadelphia e is oh, sorry, uh, you passed a bird. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Another bird. My my, my bad. Is the big game the only time you guys watch um, football? Or do you even watch it uh, when it's not virtual? It's in Chicago Bears. <laughs> I tune in for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I like football. football. We're, all, we're all from Minnesota, Janet, so we stop watching during the playoffs when- If we're lucky. The Vikings inevitably blow it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I, sorry. Are you telling me a Chicagoan about what it's like having bad teams? Because I know y'all are. I don't to play know. To that sympathy. Come I on think now. Chicago. I mean, you have the Bulls, so you can never complain about a sports what, team being good. The nineties. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. how good they were in the nineties? The greatest sports team of all time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time I'm sorry. A really long time ago. Hey, you had it. You and can the, at least watch the, the tape. Bears. The Bears are better than the Vikings. Well, maybe not this well. season, but uh, yeah, the Vikings. Not this season. We, this is like the miracle season, life. and we still blew it. Yeah. Hey, hey you guys like some women? World series stuff. Hockey. Mm. Our soccer team's awful, though. Oh, also. Yeah. Uh, I assume our soccer team is uh, existing. Uh, United. Mm, Minnesota no, United. I think. Oh, what are, I think so. Oh, Minnesota yeah. United. Isn't that a thing? Yeah. I don't. Really? Are they not pro level or something? I don't know. Big, uh, All I know is that soccer stadium you're is like. You guys have like an have FC a, or something? I have a friend who lives by there. And it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they constantly like have no parking because there's a game going on and it's just blocked for blocks and blocks. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the loading screen woman wants chat to shh. Thank you for understanding. Okay, here we go. Launch this game. Ooh, it's snowing. Look forward to that. This is. This is um, this is like a chat GPT thing or whatever. So this is an ac like the most accurate prediction we have for how the game is going to go. Even That's though it's, interesting. Yeah, it's going to be in Arizona. We know that, but it is going to snow, and uh, this is going to be the first uh, kickoff return. Um, how long is this game in? What's the real life time? Like, are these these aren't are these five real minutes or are five. they fake minutes? <laughs> they're blitz minutes. Um, no, they're uh, they're five human minutes. Okay. Thank you, Ent Clark, for the big sub. Uh, 
We encourage everybody watching this. Make yourself something nice. Go get some chips. Pretend this is your Super Bowl party. A little warm up. Ooh. How's um? Who are people rooting for? I feel like we got to divide two and two here. Oh, right now? I'll take the <laughs> Eagles. Um, uh, I used to play with them a lot in Madden 2003. So I'm wow. gonna go Eagles. Okay. Wow. You know, I would go Eagles too, just because of the it's always sunny in Philadelphia connection. Okay. Yeah. Jeff, um, you want to go Chiefs just because you like their name? No. Oh, okay. First and um, I would go Eagles because Dan's from Kansas, isn't he? Yeah, that is true. All right, I'll go Chiefs just because it seems like Philly fans are a bit much, um, if, I may, if I may generalize. That seems to be the consensus, at least, from people who know sports better than I do. If this past 45 seconds is anything to go on. Yeah. Um, do you guys ever play NFL Blitz? Oh, probably. Uh -huh. I probably played it and forgot because the other day my brother is like, don't you remember we used to play um, that NBA Kobe Bryant game all the time? And I'm like, I have zero memory of this. So I'm guessing I have blacked out my mm. NFL Blitz days. Wait, what was the Kobe Bryant game? Um, I think it's called like, it's for the N64. If someone in chat knows, they can say it. I think it's called like N NBA Courtside. Yeah, I think it's NBA Courtside, like Kobe Bryant like edition or whatever. Mm. It doesn't change anything about the game. He's just on the cover and <laughs> Whatever, I picked it up at a retro store um, after learning this for like, I don't know, maybe $3, $5 or something. Nice. And then I played it the other day. It's actually pretty solid. Right better on. than I thought it'd be. I love that. Mm. Leo, have you ever gotten to do a sports game? I, you know, when you're a kid and you have the opportunity to get a game, so anything is really exciting just because that opportunity isn't always present. Yeah. That was me on like a road trip through the South picking up NBA Live 2003 at a mm. pawn shop. For like $6. Yeah, exactly. And I enjoyed it fine. I think the most I enjoyed a sports game was playing NBA Live 95 on my friend's SNES mm. when we were younger than that. That sounds fun. I, uh, God, I just remembered. I used to work at a grocery store. Let's go, bro get her. Um, but he's working at a grocery store, nice and they had like a movie rental. Thank you, thank you. They had like a movie rental area. And one day, I was looking at the garbage, and there was a NBA game in the garbage. Like the lady running the area, she's like, no one rents this thing, so I threw it away. So I got to dig this NBA game for PS2 out of the trash, and I, oh, how I cherish that good old trash game. Nothing better. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than adults just throwing good stuff away. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Patrick Mahomes here. No, I'm so all these yeah. all these players are going to be back? Is that what this uh, <laughs> simulation is showing us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a miracle. Uh, four of them are dead, so it's really going to be a hell of a game. <laughs> wow. Mm. I grew up... Oh, yeah. I, I grew up in a household where my dad was always yelling at baseball on the TV, and my mom was always yelling at football on the TV. And I feel like what were you that... yelling wow. at on the TV? <laughs> Tony Hawk's pro skater form. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that put me off of sports for a while, but I still am, I'm open to finding the right way back in, you know? Yeah. The last dance was an amazing watch. That made me want to watch basketball. Plus my friends all like it. Seems like it'd be fun to get into. Yeah, but then again, I think every time I do watch a football game, I think, um, <laughs> what the hell was that? I think maybe I'm just too emotional for it. Like it's too many highs and lows. Like I try and watch a Vikings game. It's like I don't, I don't want to be on this much of an emotional roller coaster every single week for like three hours. It's a bit much, you know. And then, oh, like, what about gaming? Does that not do anything for you? You're just sitting there like no, no pulse. Yeah, I got ice water in my veins for every game I play. Yeah. Right. I mean, compared to football, I mean, I do think it's just like you will be disappointed at some point unless you win the Super Bowl, and that is probably never going to happen in our lifetimes as Vikings fans here in Minnesota. So I was like, what, what's the point ultimately? You're just gonna. Isn't there the desire to like improve, you know? Well, I'm not doing it. But we don't. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you could always go rogue whole... and pick a, a new team. Oh. It's a little uh, controversial, but you can yeah. go outside your That's a region. Blasphemous. Yeah. I don't think we can do it. We'd be pummeled in the streets. Um, yeah, I think there's something about just like. Like when a sports team wins and then people like riot in the streets and stuff, it genuinely freaks me out. 
Now, I know classic soy boy material, but it's just like, what is going on? Like, do we need to tear a city apart because a team won? Like, that stuff is, is weird to me as somebody who's just casually checking in every once in a while on sports, you know? You'd get it. Like, I guess... Cared, you'd be you'd be burning down buildings. I feel like Ben yeah. was the first person that I'd suspect to, like, start burning a car for no reason. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> do we get to do it now? <laughs> I guess, like, if Hi-Fi Rush won, like, the Game Awards for Game of the Year, I'd probably go that, out. like, when yeah. Kojima came out for Xbox, <laughs> I threw a chair through a window. <laughs> um, I would run a Twitch poll, but my hands are too uh, buffalo-y. But how's everybody feeling about the game? Are you going to watch it? And more specifically, Twitch, who's going to win? Eagles or Chiefs? And you Is can there say a favorite? Good question. Probably the Eagles? I don't know. What was that? That was no good. <laughs> Anderson? No, it's, it seems like when the computer plays Blitz... The Thank you, Janet. When the computer plays Blitz, it seems like they don't continue trying to tackle everyone after every play is called. Is that, yeah, that, guy's gonna need a is that not how you're supposed to play? It's showing you how to play incorrectly, I think. Yeah. Leo, did you um, did you ever check out that quarterback VR game? No, I haven't heard of that. I, I was looking at the launch list for the PSVR 2, and it's called, like, NFL Pro Era. And yeah, ooh, boy, that's rough. That's a backbreaker. Um, but it seems kind of cool. You know, it's like, I think I would like to try a VR simulation of being a quarterback and feel a little bit of what that'd be like. You think you'd be good at it, right? I think so. You've got the body type. Thanks, ma'am. I always thought Ben is more of like a kicker. Mm. Yeah, stupid long legs. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's tied. Eagles and Chiefs for the prediction on Twitch. Interesting. Now, Janet, your mistake is you wrote who wins in real life with that poll, but there's no difference. Sure. It's the same thing. This it's game all, in real you life. Know, yeah. Why, yeah, why split hairs? Right. Good point, good point. Whoever wins this is winning it. Um, I really wanted to be a safety when I was a kid. When I was watching a lot of Vikings, <laughs> I was like, I think that's the coolest, the coolest position. It's like you can occasionally get an interception, but generally it's just kind of running and blocking a little bit. Like, oh my God, he's grabbed him by the helmet. He ran right into that. Borichter did. That's kind of his style, man. Hey, I was um when I was setting stuff up, I was listening to the commentary a little bit more, and they started it off by being like, "Hey, wow!" And they're all like really loose and going back and forth, and they say, "I can't believe we're in the same booth together." And it sounded pretty natural. Do you think that they actually recorded the VO with them in the booth? Or was that like a joke about them absolutely not being in the same booth together? What's your prediction? Mm. Hmm. I don't think they would have recorded in the same booth. It'd be weird. No. I think the interactions would be too rare to warrant doing that versus how much it's just save this line, say this line, say this word isolated Yeah. to be combined with other words. All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh, McCullen, get him! He's trying to do that McMullen. classic McMullen dance. Oh! Thanks for the big raid, Retro Chef Lando. Welcome. Hope you like football. Because we do. Oh, yeah, that, that, that much is clear here from this stream. We're a bit um, of experts. We both yeah, proved gonna, it. I'm going to watch the game on Sunday just because I like to hang out and eat. Yep. Like, my boyfriend's making wings. I wish he could have made it for this, but... I didn't, the timing would be too, like, rough to do, but he yeah. makes, like, the best wings I've had in my entire life, so. Did, um, yeah, I know he made nice. them for Greg Miller, and he got the thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. But now, wow. granted, I don't know if it's, like, would you tell me, though, if that wasn't true, mm. that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I think Greg would. He's pretty, um, mean, I feel oh. like. <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah, if you, if it was, like, for Unless the sake of content. he also had the wings as well, and he was also a fan of the wings, so. Okay. That's nice. Um. That's really cool that you can have, like, I don't know, co-workers over and then your boyfriend's like, I'm going to step up and make them food. That's a, that's a good partner there. Yeah, he's, like, ridiculously nice. It's funny because he went down with me to the, or up, or I don't know where the fuck San Francisco is. Um, he went to the studio with me and everything, and, like, they talked about him afterwards on, like, the kind of funny Pillar podcast. And they were like, yeah, like, we met Isaiah and, you know, like, 
he was just so nice, like so helpful, <laughs> cleaning up. I want to talk smack about him just to like as a troll, but like I can't. He was so lovely. Like it was just so funny, like hearing them talk about him. But you no, know, genuinely, he's very, very nice. What's his secret to be a nice? Do you think? I don't know. I feel. I kind of feel like he's just a better person. And it's funny, like seeing him <laughs> even in just like small interactions. Like I forgot if I told this story before, but we were at like the airport, and this woman had to like bring her suitcase down a bunch of like stairs, and he like walked up to her and a offered to help her. Wow. And I'm like, I never would offer. And granted, I was really small too, but I'm like, I would never even think to offer that. I'd just be like, man, that's gonna be rough, like you know. Um, or he like holds the door open for people all the time, and I like mm. just never really think to do that outside of when it's painfully obvious that it just makes sense to hold the door. Like, yeah. little things like that. Like, I don't know. He's just very courteous. Damn. Jeff, what's your secret for wings? I don't know. Isaiah, what's your secret for being nice? And oh, then what's I your see. Secret for wings? He's sitting right there. He That's why you're being so nice. I said. Uh. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you so nice? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, that's what? He said it's easy being nice. This, I'm li I am dating okay. someone from Sesame Street, apparently. That's very cute. <laughs> and we're getting the wing recipe? The flowering for the wings is the secret. Mm. It, it means that more? Crispness. More flour? Um, I don't know if I'd say he uses more flavor. You season the flour, right? Yeah, I guess just the way he seasons them, and then he like fries them, and they get like, they have like that really nice breading to them. Um, the hot sauce is really good too, but it's mostly just um, Frank's and but mm, Frank's butter and ketchup, but it's delicious. Frank's nice. butter and ketchup. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to top Frank sometimes. Um, I hate to volunteer him, but Ben, if you're ever down here, I don't know, maybe I can get his to make them again. Okay, that sounds great. Don't ask his permission, please. Oh, here man. He oh, yeah, he said whoever comes for E3 gets the wings okay. if y'all are coming through. <laughs> Damn it, Leo. Mm, how's everybody's uh, food here? Just wrapped. Loved it. Yeah. I'm like halfway through. It is what you think it would be because they were like from the grocery store. The beer is really good though. I haven't had Miller Lite in a really long time. Yeah, I get beer snobs that look down on stuff like Miller Lite, but in terms of like just a, I would take Coors maybe for just like that light cheap Ooh. variant out of everything. Oh, you don't do Coors? I don't think so. I mean, I haven't had it in a long time. I don't drink it that often. So I feel like maybe that's why it doesn't taste as good. But I, I think Miller is my favorite cheap one. Mm. Um, Isaiah thought it was ridiculous that I didn't want to get Bud Light because he's like, isn't that, that's like the beer of like the big game, isn't it? And I'm like, is uh, it? I don't know. Um, I mean, they're going to have some horses probably in the commercials. The Clydesdales, those are those are the Bud Light commercial people, right? I, I don't know, which is kind of like a damning review of the, um, of the, the mascot. Inherently, I think if we don't yeah. remember it's what it's attached to. <laughs> True. Mm. Um, how's your THC thing, Leo? Oh, it's pretty yummy. You don't have any beer around. Mm. Uh, yeah, Janet, our um, our state's Minnesota has like exploded recently because it turns out we can sell edibles and stuff. Oh yeah, by accident, right? People by didn't accident. know like what they were voting for. So, yeah, apparently, yeah. Um, and so now everyone's just scrambling, and so a lot of people are making, like, uh, weed beer, <laughs> weed seltzers. <laughs> but I, Leo, I'm, I'm not smart. Is there a difference between, like, the THC seltzers and then just, like, these will actually get a, get you a little higher seltzers? Or is it just THC seltzers is just the overall blanket for everything? There's definitely a difference between CBD seltzers That's and THC asking. seltzers. Yeah. Okay. And but we, the THC ones fully just have the milligram amount on them. This one's five. I've seen one go up to 25, which is like above the legal limit, but it says that one can is three servings or something <laughs> to make it uh, work. That's how they get around it. <laughs> yeah. Diabolical. Yeah, I think I think the market's still exploding for that. Yeah, well, there's just like specialty places already. Yeah. Curious to see how long that lasts. Uh, how's the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings are, Jeff? Uh, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but the, I, it really needs the extra sauce. Oh, the, here we the go. Supplement, the sauce the supplementary in. sauce. Yeah. yeah. Toot that horn. It. Uh, I got a I mean, big old... mostly Frank, so... These are all fries that I can How often are y'all going to B-dubs? Like, Jeff, is that, like, have you... Do you go, mm. like, 
somewhat regularly, like a few times a year, or did you just do this for today? Last time was super, super party last year. <laughs> okay, so it's that's like your annual visit. Um, yep. I went to B-dubs, like the last time I went was for Father's Day. Like we had the most cliche Father's Day in the world. Like we took my dad to see Top Gun Maverick and then we went to yes. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, this is this is perfect. Nice. But then it was, it was funny going in because like my boyfriend had either never been to it or hadn't gone in a long time to B-dubs because we walked in and he was like, so like, what is this? Is it a bar? And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I'm like, it's a wing place. Like, it's a wing chain. Like, you know, what are you talking about? I'm like, there's a million TVs. You can watch everything at once. Mm -hmm. How many sauces do they have? Oh God, so many. It's got to be like 32 or something, right? Oh, wait, I think wait. it said 26. Mm. What has more Baskin Robin flavors or Buffalo Wild Wings wing mm. sauces? That's good trivia. I'm gonna go with Baskin Robbins. I feel like Baskin Robbins. Yeah. Leo, have you ever been to a D spot in Oakdale in Minnesota here? No. They're known for their wings and they're big on like, we have a ton of different flavors and they're all like novelty. Like you can have peanut butter wings and just a ton of wild stuff, but it's good. Wild it's good if you like weird stuff. Do you like wild stuff? I'm a Ray J's guy when it comes to wings. Mmm. Great wings, great wings. Last uh, time I had Buffalo Wild Wings, I had a a couple of days in the bathroom that I can only describe as traumatic, and I haven't returned since then. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Needed the wings of a diaper folded up around your butt. Um, exactly right. I uh, I made a employee training video for Buffalo Wild Wings back in my day when I was an intern at a video production place in, the, in Minneapolis. And it was like, how to make the pulled pork sandwich at Buffalo Wild Wings. It was- wow. Did you know now? Um, oh, I can make a mean pulled pork. Did you like save it, you know, save to flash drive? Like mm. when no one was looking or something? That's right. Yeah, secret recipe. I'll leak it. I'll freaking uh, call me Assange. I don't know. How, how, many, how many AFI songs did you use? That you're, uh... Yeah, it was mostly AFI soundtracks underneath them. People it was just Miss Murder, but... but it played on loop. Mm hmm Miss Pig Murder, it was called. Do you have any memories of editing that? Did you get to do any clever edits that mm. saved it? No, I, it sing? I didn't even get to edit it. I just, um, I was like an assistant on the shoot. So I was in like this oh. industrial kitchen. Oh, he's going for it! Pigston's, Pigston's doing it! Oh! Or, um, and I got um, my claim to fame in that video was, you know, we needed somebody to like squirt sauce onto the sandwich or whatever. So it was actually my hand in the shot, like on the. I see, right? You're, you're a hand model. I, I, was, I was the first hand model on uh, Earth. George Costanza over here. <laughs> That's right. God, I, uh, I'm still watching. I'm going through Seinfeld again. Mm -hmm. It's, it really makes me laugh a lot. In the end zone. And like, there's this again? one where there's the episode where George realizes that like he is just absolutely not in charge of this relationship that his girlfriend is just like the boss of him and he has no chance and he was talking about like being nervous talking to her on the phone and he's like look I, I made a whole list of things that I could talk about with her just to try and entertain her one of them was about and like I think Jerry like grabs the list to look at what he wrote down and like one of the things he wrote down to talk about was I am surprisingly good at driving in reverse <laughs> It's like, how are you going to get really on this good. topic? Yeah, <laughs> it's know. good. It's good. It's a great show. Uh, it's kind of, I really can't believe you're watching it after what AI Jerry Seinfeld said oh. this week, but that's fine. Wait, was it really something to say something outrageous? The a AI of okay, <laughs> Twitch stream of, yeah. that was endless Seinfeld, it got banned because he made a transphobic joke on stage. No! <laughs> I can't believe you didn't AI hear about that. It's too accurate. Oh my yeah. God. Was it like a coherent well, joke? It was a coherent statement. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and it was it was like, I'm thinking about doing a joke about. Ready. To, and there were no, it was generating laughs, but there were no laughs for this sequence. That oh really crazy. is bizarre. And like, you know, the numbers were just climbing up and up for that thing. And so it's so bizarre to be like, all right, now we need to nuke it and now just make sure that everything the chat pulls in from the internet is not going to be transphobic. Like, good luck cleansing the internet of hate. Yeah. Wow. Heads up All right, here we go, Maury. Jeff, I can't believe you recommended that on the last episode of the podcast. 
Or no, right after. <laughs> How could... How could procedurally AI content let me down? <laughs> Who would have thought? What? Pinkston's at it again! Pinkston! Give him a break! It was break. always so brutal when this happened to you. Okay, they stopped him. When this happened to you, like, I've been that, like, you're changing characters, and you're just, like, holding down whatever run is. Mm. And it's just so, like... And then you do the desperation dive, like it's heartbreaking mm -hmm. when you don't catch them. Mm -hmm. The worst is when there's that gap. And like, I remember in like Madden, you could also like do little moves. Like when you were walking, or, like, and stuff. it was either Madden or maybe NFL Street, probably Madden, where you could like hold your arm out, kind of like, like stunt on people really quick as you were walking up there. Yeah. Hmm. It is fun. Yeah, that NBA Live 03 had a like a right thumbstick feature where that you'd flick it and you would do like ball tricks and pass it through your legs and stuff, juke people with that. I thought that was cool. That was sweet. Yeah. Uh, you all ready for some halftime entertainment? Sure. Yes. And just like the real halftime, um, it's commercials, everybody. Okay. Do you want? So the game came out in 2003. Do you want to watch commercials from 2003, or do you want to go back in time to 1990 or 1994? How are we feeling? Two, 2003. Okay. But 2003. I'm also scared at what these are going to be. <laughs> well, you should be scared of the quality because it's... <laughs> it looks like it has some filters over it. Uh, let's just see how this goes. Oh my god. Bad boys. Nice. Bad boys too. Who? Bad to boys. <laughs> That's the one where they're bad to boys. You know, and then like boys to men, of course, is like equal. Bam. That's right. That's right. I like How many bad boys movies were there? Really There's three. They're making a fourth now. Janice? Yeah, the third one was really bad. That's the point. I'm not sure how to say this to you. You know that I like you a lot, right? This quality is yeah. crazy. It's just that I like Janice a lot, too, and I know she's your roommate, and I will So date both of us. What? Wow. Yeah! Yeah, Weird. bud! This is what you wanted, Janet? I'm just gonna need some ID. Hey, I'm, okay. I'm drinking Miller Lite, alright? <laughs> I'm not affiliated with them! How do I know this is you? Because it looks just like him. But it's me. Oh, yeah! You're the pro football player! But so is he. Thanks for the big sub, Banjo. Uh, this is funny. <laughs> you're watching the Super Bowl, and you're, like, playing in the Super Bowl. This Next is kind of fun. The visa check card not a bad, not a bad jokey commercial. And on with life. Just an observation. The best thing to happen to Sunday is Friday. My name is Friday. What? <laughs> <Television's> <laughs> they crime thought they drama. really did yeah. something there. You plan to beat the system. You save it for your turn. It pulls you in and won't let go. Stop! What is I mean, HBO can use that this year for the last of us coming out early. That's right. They remade. Dragnet I have no one. memory. No memory of a reboot yeah. of Dragnet. That must have lasted like two episodes. Oh, Terminator Salvation! Oh, wait, there was a Sarah Connor Chronicles. Right. Wait, Terminator 3! Yeah. Yeah. Salvation would have been later than that. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Yeah! There you go. Rated. I only saw that movie once in theaters, but I remember really liking it. You would, Hanson. You didn't? No, no one liked it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think there's defenders. There's defenders out there. Also, yeah. Yeah. Are, you, are you looking in a mirror when you're saying that? Yeah, yeah. Also, Dark Fate, the latest one, I think does not get enough love. I think that movie has some cool stuff in it. Okay. Thank you, Leo. That's Did all you watch Sarah, Sarah Connor Chronicles? Uh, I didn't finish it, but I remember watching a bit of it, yeah. It was That's right. legitimately good. Oh, you like that one? That holds up. What is this an ad for? Quick. I'm guessing the jeans. The pants, yeah. Cities? <laughs> this is what it's like. It's like so by buffaloes. <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid pitch. Levi's. <laughs> Whoever pitched that should have been laughed out of the room. Get me out of here! Yeah. Oh, this? Well, listen, River, then I, I, hello, hello. A sort of famous names, one wild jungle. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Do you think? Oh, the hell? 
that started from this tropic board aboard this wow. tiny ship. Wow. This ship is longer ago than I remember. <laughs> Oh, okay. And the Coast Guard on speed dial. The Coast Guard on speed dial. So get yourself an M Life. It changes everything. M Life? <laughs> what is M Life? I don't know. Mobile Life. <laughs> we need a commercial that will appeal Crazy. to the children. The word know, defines the young itself. Audience. Crazy knits a Let's sweater for a hamster. Gilgan's Crazy Island. spends 10 minutes yelling at a plant for not growing. Telling a police officer, hey, my taxes pay your salary, pal. That's crazy. But that was before football, before this season, before crazy became <laughs> I an must art have missed form. Now crazy uh, is thinking that you've seen it all. Don't you remember when crazy became an art crazy. form in 2003? It's an expansion right? team beating a dynasty. It's a quarterback rushing for 173 yards. It's a 40-year-old man with Against 200 touchdowns. Crazy, crazy, and crazy. Marvin Harrison, crazy. Jeremy Shockey, crazy. <laughs> Crazy as Tommy Maddox in 26 overtime games. Right now, there's a kid somewhere sucking down strained peas and baby formula who's going to shatter Emmett Smith's rushing title. That is crazy. This uh, one, seems that reasonable. one, this one, crazy. Crazy is why we watch it's this season. It's become quite normal. Crazy is why we're going to watch <laughs> next season. <laughs> That's what this thing of ours can do. That's how big this whole thing is. Only football can turn crazy into crazy. Jesus Christ. That's this is what it's all about. As well. It's George Clooney, uh, Snoop Dogg, and a life oh. Oh. by Coldplay. It's gonna be Expialidocious. Hey, your best friend Adam Curl in Blackface. Super Bowl. Um, there's only one. Way that's the first to episode Jimmy Kimmel Live because they just had their 20 year reunion or like anniversary, and it was that episode. Night. You ready? A better time. Let's go. The practice is actually kind of cool, if I dare say it, but like, they had Jimmy Kimmel. Did he apologize for that segment? <laughs> he did. He said we regret having Adam Carolla dress up as Don King. Um, Adam Carolla is nowhere to be found on the 20th anniversary. But also they had a bit where like Jimmy Kimmel interviewed himself. Um, and they like used AI to make like basically de-age Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, here we go. What did he say? <laughs> it was fun. It was just silly like, what? Donald Trump was the president? Just kind of that lame stuff, but the tech was cool. How do these hacks afford a Super Bowl commercial? And make sure you register to win a 2003 Chevy Trailblazer sponsored by Milwaukee. Blaine's Farm and Fleet had a moment. I live in Cedar Rapids. I live in Davenport. I want people that care. Where's the I thing where you have like so many local commercials they can squeeze in? I want a yeah. dump my boyfriend butt. I don't want to hear customer service doing mm. mm. I want a True. local company. I want easy, helpful. I want to be able to get somebody on the phone when I get them on the phone and call them and get them on the phone. A real yeah. person. I need to matter. Because guess what? I do. I wireless. I wireless. I wireless. <laughs> We hear you. A wrestling family now okay. wrestling right. the school board on 8 at 10 15. <laughs> I got a huge Get guest for tonight's big show. Hello? Ooh, I got a huger guest for tonight's big show. See George Clooney from Confessions so, of a Dangerous Mind. Snoop Dogg, one of the stars of today's I mean, show. Well, had to say what George Clooney, Clooney was playing. Cool Jimmy Kimmel Live, <laughs> later tonight. It's going to be George Clooney from reality. Tonight, you're watching two great teams in action. It's weird, I guess, like, when you're launching that show, you have to, like, team. lean into the man show history a little bit. It's like, okay. America. Please tune in. I want to bring that audience over. Yeah. That juggernaut audience. Super Monday. A night of excitement like nothing else oh, on television. Kicking off yeah. with Veritas The Quest. It's a code. A father and son in a race to uncover Who's convinced to watch this show based on it's a code? The wrong hands. <laughs> it's a lot. Are we gonna crash? Followed by television's best drama. When we try cases, it gets ugly. As it makes its move to a better night and a better time. Excellent. With a better night. With a better cast. That's how I market my stream. Wait, That's enough. The practice at 9, 8 central. I feel like there's been a trend towards, you know, things are so fast nowadays, so uh, ADD oriented or whatever, but this feels faster than commercials do today. Yes. Tomorrow night, don't miss a minute of the excitement. Starting with Veritas the Quest. Followed by the Veritas? We don't know the what that is! <laughs> the Quest! Central on Super ABC. Monday. Alright, we should probably get wow, back to this guy. Yeah. Uh, it was a better time. It was truly a better time. Whew. Okay, let's back get back to the real entertainment here. Boom! <laughs> Fake football! I have like whiplash from these two segments. <laughs> I know. Whew. All right. I think um, the pass rushing is actually pretty decent from the Chiefs this game. 
Also, you know what's uh, always shocking to me when I see stuff like this, where it's like the AI, because I, I have played like different sports sims over the years, and I've gotten, I've put a lot of hours, but I don't have a lot to show for those hours. That's so fine, that that's being said, I'm not that good. It's always surprising when like the AI, like the scoring, so much lower, and I realize it's because neither me or my brother are good at defense in any game we play. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, whoa, what's going, this is like a much more normal game. That's just normally when you check out. It's not touchdowns until someone messes up. Yeah, that is true. It's just that it'd be so boring when you're on defense. Why are some of these people smoking? Are they on fire? Or about to be? They're about to be on fire. Um, I think it's the snow. It's cold. No, it's I just don't a know. couple of them? No, it is They're weird. Breathing. Maybe something with the game, because somebody was like, you're going Maybe they're being can. possessed. Well, there was like a purple glowing <laughs> oh, guy I earlier. See. Okay. At first I thought it was just them breathing, but yeah, I see what you mean. It's like an aura around them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> He's on fire. Um, <laughs> He's hot. <laughs> but that's it. But it's cold, so it's smoky. Hmm. Um, Somebody asked, and uh, I'm scared to Google it because I don't want to break my computer, but yeah, who was the halftime show in 2003, do you think? Ooh, Apparently, I'll Google it. Yeah, Janet Jackson was 2004, is what people are saying in the chat. J-Lo. You think? Who can remember? Oh, okay, I got it. Ooh, give us, give us hints, give us hints, give us hints. Um, country music? Is it Shania Twain? Yes. Oh, oh. damn it. Coming off those commercials, I was going to say Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you think she does feel like a woman at an NFL game? Oh, yeah, you have to. It's like her biggest song. That is, you know, you don't think about it too often, at least I don't, but every time that song pops up, you like at a wedding. You feel or, like a woman. I feel like a woman. I, I, I would be hard-pressed to say that's not in the 20 greatest songs of all time. I would, I would go so far for feels like a woman. Yeah, but when she says, let's go, girls. Let's like, go, girls, yeah. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> it's so good. I thought the question was, does she feel like a woman at the Super Bowl? Oh. Also, she did indeed start the show with Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Okay. And then she played Up, which I, I probably know, but I'd have to re-listen to it. No, I don't know that one. It's the song from the start of Up. It's a nine-minute orchestral. That's <laughs> 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 just on the Jumbotron x-ray footage. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> oh, hang on. People are saying I don't know music. All right, give me give me your lock for absolutely top twenty song of all time, chat. What is what is just like unquestionably top twenty song of all time? Any song? Yes, John Denver. John Denver. Leo. Um, My way, Frank Sinatra. Uh, <laughs> According to Final Fantasy. Yes. Stranger Paradise um, theme. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yep, I think that's a contender. Mm, yep, I mean, yep. Yesterday, okay. Uh, you uh, could. I, I hate yesterday. Really? It's hate so slow. <laughs> Yeah, make it pop, make it bop, Like, Paul. it's just so slow. I don't know. I sang it in elementary school, too, for, like, one of my, like, things, like, yeah. plays or whatever. I don't know. It's so, it just drags on. It's like that and Let It Be, because they say Let It Be too many times. I'm mm. like, I can't. I can't with this one. <laughs> you need to let they it be. They say it, like, four times, and then when you think they're done, they say it one more time. Like, I can't. <laughs> Instant skip. It's tough. Uh, Stairway to Heaven. Yep, I think that's sure. I think that's a contender. I think it was memed a lot, but I do think Freebird hits pretty hard. Yep, mm. yep. Uh, ooh, absolutely top 20 of all time. Hitmonchan's got it. Hall of the Mountain King. That's a lock for top 20. There's <laughs> no question. No question. That's a lock. Um, people are saying happy birthday. I don't think so. Um, 24 hour <laughs> parties. Style. In, yep, Kingdom Style. Turkey in the Straw. That's top 50, maybe. I don't know about that. Uh, wait, Leo, Hey Yeah by Outcast. I, I think overdone. Yeah. Overdone, but unquestionably great. Yes? Yeah, that's tough to say because it was so overplayed that it holds a different place. Almost a Gangnam Stylian place in my mind. Yeah. Versus, you know, who knows if Annie's song by John Denver was getting played at the Kids' Choice Awards. Did I know was going up? What's the most overplayed song of all time? I think it's Usher's Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm. Over, just overdone, overplayed. Everywhere you went, yeah, played. Yeah. Like, Let's create Bob. I feel like I've heard too many times. In like trailers and stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, what about like the you know Christmas song? Like, um, what's the one that everyone's oh, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Like that's probably a contender, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, most played? Yeah, I mean, it's up there. Um, I mean, um, it's, it's played every year, so that probably is the number one most played song. Baby Got right. Back. True. Has Baby Got Back cooled down over the last five years, or is it just me and my lifestyle? I think it's cooled down, but then they had, you know, Nicki Minaj did Anaconda that, like, yeah, references it, so it right. kind of, like, it did, it got, like, a different kind of life, you know? Yeah. yeah. Frumlock suggests some pink song. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> like easy. Movie. Uh, Very they, Gooster said Toxic by Britney Spears. I do agree ooh, with that. Yeah, yeah. This is how we do it. I am always curious how they do it. Bohemian Rhapsody, I think, is played a lot. I, I do it hear It is you. played a lot, which is surprising because it's so long. Yeah. Uh, Leo. Did Pony I tell by Genuine. Oh, yeah. That is true. Um, remember that time we were at Minnesota Tonight and I said I didn't like that song? And Staffa threatened to kill me because I had the gall to bash Pony? <laughs> um, oh, that was that brings me to another question. Like this is how my mind works. So I feel like Pony plays at like every wedding for the um, like the bride walking toss. down the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bride walking down the aisle. <laughs> there, there, now, um, Ben, did you guys do like bouquet toss, garter toss? No. At your wedding? No, no did you, tosses. Did you throw anything? Uh, I threw up because I was so nervous. But other than that, no. No, very little throwing. I don't think it was. We kind of throw anything. Okay. Did you like have any tradition -y, like moments like that? No, we really we streamlined not streamlined, but like simplified as much of that wedding as possible. We're like, eh, optimized. wedding parties optimized, yeah. min max. Optimized for PS5. Yeah, you min max. <laughs> yeah, we're like eh, the wedding party. There's so many things. It's like I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that. But Leo, you were there. Were there any? I don't know traditional things. Not really. No. I love a, a non-traditional wedding. I Thank think it's you. fun to, to make it your own. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and you yours felt very specific to you in a way that was like, you know, you're there to celebrate that person. I felt like we were doing that. Oh, awesome. thank you. Yeah, I know we had a show all about planning weddings, but, you know, like, I talk to my wife a lot, and we were talking about, like, what makes a good wedding from a bad wedding. I hope so. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but we're talking it about, like, what's... a few times. Every now and then I'm talking to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about, like, you know, what's essential in a wedding. It's like, I think we just want to have a good time and then leave a wedding feeling like you understand that couple better than you did before. You know, and it's like, that's, yeah. that's oh, pretty man. simple. That's tough. How'd you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we gave it, but hopefully we gave it to people. Um, but we had that at a couple weddings, you know, like, and I, we've had the flip too of like, you go to a wedding and you leave and it's like, I feel like I understand why they're in love less. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's like, it's too, if it's too traditional, if it's too just like by the numbers and it's like, I don't understand what's happening here. You know? Yeah, I guess that Bible quote I kind of half heard right. was relevant to them in some way. Yeah, yeah. The first Corinthians, yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, but Janet, you like the you like the tosses, you like the traditional songs blasting during that and all that stuff. I I like some traditions. I do think the garter toss is a little creepy. Sure. Um, <laughs> no offense if you did it, you know, in the chat, like if that's what you did. But like, like my brother and his now wife did the garter toss, but it was like. No one wanted to like participate in it because it was like, ah, uh, it's kind of weird. And I'm like, and then we all had to like make the guys go up there. Like, you guys got to go up there. And they're like, oh, uh, she, she's like my cousin also. Like, it's weird. <laughs> like just go up there. Sexualize her. Like, yeah. That was a little weird. The bouquet toss was fun. Um, you know, it's like a little flower grenade. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> That's at, good for gamers. Adam, um, I went to a wedding recently and like the, instead of doing like the garter bouquet toss, they they went up to they had the kind of like their wedding was like in a theater um, mm. that they like decorated, of course, and they went up to the second floor and they threw down T-shirts that said like it was like uh, kind of like this night at the whatever, like their wedding and then it's on the back it says like sold out, whatever. And it, so they threw T-shirts down at people and like everyone could like participate. So I hope they I tried know what to, I would want to do. I hope they tried to get a T-shirt cannon. That would be more fun than just tossing them down, I think. <sighs> I think the cannon is probably too powerful. You I kill imagine. somebody. Yeah, like that's Mon how people Flanders. die. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna get a black it's a close eyes. range. You need yeah. a mortar launcher. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get a good arc on it. Leo, did I ever tell you this uh, this story? Where I was. Um... Hang on, I'll let you answer first. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Okay. Um, uh, my aunt was visiting over the summer. She was at the she was at the wedding. You remember her? But um, she was talking about. I think she went to school in like Gustavus, Minnesota. Here, at least the name of the college. And she's like, she was talking about her friend Annie, who was like her sorority sister. And then she's like, yeah, you know, Annie, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, she's like, yeah, I mean, she's still married to John Denver. I was like, what? And she's like, 
Yeah, yeah, they got they got married. He he toured Minnesota and he met her at a show and then he married her. And then I was like, wait a minute. Is your friend Annie from Annie's song? She's like, yeah, yeah, she is. It's like, why, why, why aren't you screaming about this all the time? Like, I love Annie's song. And the fact that I have a connection to Annie herself is mind boggling. That's amazing. Go, go Morton. Oh! Morton. No one thought Morton could do it, but look at him go. Morton heard that who? <laughs> Mr. Morton. I kind of hate the like convert like, one well, of the conversion attempt, but the, like the field goal afterwards. It's so close that it's like an auto points, yeah. but then every now and then someone messes it up. Like, yeah, why do just, we have this here? It just exists to shame people if you do miss it. Because like, <laughs> what is the percentage of misses? Like two percent, maybe. Yeah, I think it should be always two point conversion. That's just your chance, and like it would add so much more tension to that. Those John Boy's SB Nation videos about sports are so good because he has like such an amazing knowledge of sports and acknowledges when little rules and things like that are super dumb and digs into like why they're dumb. Wait, what is this? I don't know this. John Boy's B O I S. Uh, I forget the name of the series, but he does really, really good comprehensive videos about weird sports moments and weird legacies. Huh. You love him. All right. Jacob Geller would back me up right now. Really? God damn. I swear to God. Can we talk about how Philadelphia had such a lead and now it's all tied up? Yeah. Do you think, yeah. the, do you think the computer, though, like, wants to add a little stakes to it? No. Like, the computers, I think the computer is random and unbiased except for all the bias yes. that's put into it by the fact that it was made by humans who are sure. inherently biased. Sure. So, other than that, it's like a clean slate, you know? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's a history of the Atlanta Falcons. People are people are all in on John Boy. Good lord. John Boy. Hey, John Boy. Uh, somebody said that. Oh, the Cowboys missed four extra point kicks in one game. That's right. I did see that highlight thing. That's that is, rough. Oh my god. <laughs> I, you would never get over that if you're a kicker. Man, they like really um, like broke through some tackles here. That is so crazy how it is all momentum. Like, they were less and less likely to make those shots because of the ones they missed, you know? Yeah. It's true of, like, anything competitive, there's this unquantifiable element of, like, believing in yourself. Even in, like, a game of Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. It's, just, it's all about getting that momentum going. That is such a weird sensation. And, like, also, I think about, you know, like, how effective could a coach pep talk be for, like, emotionally rallying a team? Do you think, Jeff, I'm, you're the master of AI, right? <laughs> Do you think we'll ever get to yeah. the point Beep of like, to you? yeah, having like AI Beep generate boop. the most efficient possible pep talk for a team? I mean, the coach would still deliver it. It wouldn't be like the IBM in the corner delivering it, but there has to be some way to like motivate a team. They wheel it out on a trolley. <laughs> Listen to this thing. It's got some good ideas. I feel like you'd have to input really personal things about the people into the simulation to the point where you may as well just write it. If you yeah, know that's I guess so. Also. I'm not a coach, despite a lot of people thinking that. But like, do they do they play music during like their halftime pep talks? Because that seems like a essential thing if you want to motivate that team. If you're like screaming, <laughs> <over>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Yo, Annie's song. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that played a lot, also. But it's it's fun. It's a treat every time you hear that song. Because there's usually something fun happening if you're hearing it. Like, mm -hmm. have you ever just been, you know, chronically depressed and you put on... Dun, 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 dun. Right, no. right. Well, it you comes know? on when I'm listening to the album. <laughs> on my walk, man. <laughs> you just you're doing a front to back with that regularly? Yeah, just it's kinda... really cohesive, actually. <laughs> God, you know what was good? You know what the best thing sports has ever produced? Is the uh, jock jams. Were you all into jock jams? My gym teacher was. Oh. Do you know jock jams? Kind of? No. What is Jock Jams? There were like remixes in the 90s of just like every energetic song possible. And they just cut it together. It was kind of the girl talk of its day, but it it ruled. Okay. Two minute warning. Do I just do I just YouTube type into YouTube Jock Jams? And that's jo gonna... Yeah, Jock Jams Volume 1. And was then... it like someone? It was the Jock. <laughs> um, <I don't> <laughs> Mr. Jock, or was it like a style? Jock. They called it Jock James. Like how You're pronouncing music. it weird, Hanson, is Jock. A guy named Jock. <laughs> Jock. Jock and Jock. Jams. Jocks to jams. <laughs> oh, they're going for it. Chat said it was not like girl talk. Now, are you saying that because it wasn't or because you hate girl talk? Um, be honest. It was like a slower girl talk. I don't know. 
It's girl talk enough. I love girl talk and I love jock jams. So therefore, yeah, I think they're the I same. Yeah, I got to listen to that episode you did um, oh. where your favorite album was. Um, oh God, what's the name of that album? Feed the, the Animals. The Fire on the Lawn? Yeah. Feed the Animals. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was like, I don't know. That like sits in my mind very deeply. That that's <laughs> really? your favorite album. I mean, I. it was a tough thing for Crossfade to choose your favorite album. It's like, in terms of like albums that are unquestionably great and I'd rather listen to compared to any other album. I guess that makes it my favorite album, but like, I would like to listen to Girl Talks with the Animals over over most choices, most days, I guess. Here's a question. So like, obviously like Girl Talk, you know, it's like sample mashup vibes. Do you know the songs that are rarely, in there? Rarely, Like, do you, so, so you like have like, like four bars of like a little Wayne song and then the, yes. your mind just like goes blank. That's <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And like that was that, in that CrossFit That's episode, so a lot funny. of it is just me being like, okay, Helga said that part where there's that one rapper and he's like, blah, 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 blah. like what, what was that from? And how, what is this? And is it good? Should I dig into that source material as it's cool to call uh, rappers? Um, so yeah, you're, was, you're not someone who's really into music. No, no. I, I wasn't, and I still am not. I, I still, I, I feel like I find five songs I like a year. Yeah. But I used to listen to a lot of girl talk in the time in my life when I only listened to podcasts, and I feel like it was good for like getting the thrill of a bunch of different popular songs. <laughs> but in the same like personality, you know, there's a remix artist called RAC I really liked at that time too, where it's yeah. just like. A lot of different flavors, but with one thing, like, tying it together. So you could, like, say, like, I listened to five albums today, and you really just listen to one remix one, but you feel <laughs> It's the most content. efficient way to listen to music. Right. Also, for the record, I do love that album. Like, Ooh. I got into it, like, freshman year of college and, like, listened, like, to it a lot. Yeah. Um, but then, like, I hadn't listened to it in so long, so to see that as, like, your pick, I was like, oh, this is, like, yeah, this makes sense, weirdly. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it did, too. Uh, hey, we got a game here, folks. I know. Last minute. Uh, Jeff, when people are speculating that he went into a food coma about 40 minutes ago. How are you doing? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> How are you feeling there, man? You, you, did you eat all those wings? And is that like a no, normal mouthfeel? I'm no, not trying to like that, food that shame like... you. I don't know what adult that meals, was like, maybe like two how much y'all consume, you know? Was... I'm going to regret it. Oh, I yeah. ate enough to regret it later. That's all that's um, important. Yeah. Do you, um... How do you deal with like snacks at like a Super Bowl party, everybody? Because I I am bad. Like if there are like little snacks at a party or like a sporting event like that, like I will eat it until I just feel sick to my stomach. But is, can everybody else contain themselves? Is this just a me thing? <laughs> All right. I assume everyone can contain. It's a mostly me thing. I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I I graze. You know, I'll have like okay. my mini meal and then I kind of just graze at that point. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I think the only problem is when you get to a point of being sick, for sure. Otherwise, it's I just kind of just plan for it and don't have a meal and only have snacks. Yeah, load up on it. Also, if I may keep projecting, does anybody else find they like get into a grumpier mood when they're really full, or just like a worse social oh, no. mood? No? I'm chill. You're chill. I think yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm like... worse socially for it. I think. <laughs> But you just because well, you eat too much, Hanson. I think I eat too much and I feel you gotta sick. Gotta stop a little sooner. I think so. And I think then you won't be angry at everyone because your tummy's too full. Okay, people speculated I did indeed finish the beer. Nice, so, nice. well you done, go. my tall boy. Uh, hey, this is it, folks. Can they do this? This would be a hell of a finish. Come on, NFL no Blitz Pro. This. They can't do this. Oh, that wasn't even a field goal. They're not even trying. They're not even trying. <laughs> All right. So we just tied. <laughs> Uh, is, it, I, is there overtime? No, overtime? it's overtime. Yeah. All right, overtime, everybody. 20-minute overtime. This is That's awesome. This is going to it. 20-minute overtime? The game was 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Um, over, overtime rules have changed in the NFL since then, right? Is anybody, does anybody know the NFL well enough they can correct us? Because is it sudden death now? Is like you have a chance to... Yeah, is it is it not still just the first team to score? Well... But so here it wasn't back in 2003. It wasn't? Each team gets a possession, says Blue. Okay, and that's like in the last couple of years, right? That they changed that? Oh, come on! He was wide open! They just changed it for the playoffs this year. So King says it should be sudden death in 2003. Yeah, okay. that's what I assume. So what's it? 
So both team gets a possession. That's what that's what they changed it to. It's always been sudden death, and they changed it to each team gets a possession, but only for the playoffs. That's really weird. Yeah, that is so weird. it can end in a tie if nothing happens. I guess. I love the NFL patch notes. I think that's really fascinating with them trying yeah, to. Yeah, who, yeah. Who can says first to score a touchdown or safety field goal allows for the other team to get a possession. I think that's really good. So, so if you like chicken out and go for the field goal, yeah, then the other team gets a possession. In which case, they could top you if yeah. they do a touchdown. That sounds perfect. That's pretty gamery. That's a gamery rule change. Right there. It is. I think it's probably the most fair, especially considering like the possession aspect of it in football. Mm -hmm. um, I know for like, oh man, I forget what the rules are in soccer. I think they are dependent on like the kind of tournament, but like I just did um, via FIFA, the World Cup, like they have it set up where you can like do the World Cup, like through their little tournament bracket thing. And the overtime there was two really short halves. So it's like, it like a mini halves? game that you play after. Yeah, halves. Of just like to change a possession? Like, weird. No, I mean, well, it's soccer, so there's no possession. You know, it's well, just of like, course. I mean, someone kicks it off, but you know, like, <laughs> there's not like, it's not the same kind of thing because here you're moving yeah. up the field, like, with possession, and then you, you know, could, could change over. But yeah, they make it like two halves. They used to do golden goal, is what they call the first to score. Um, but people were like, no, it's not fair because you didn't get a chance. And they're like, you had a chance in that we play. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so they do the two, two mini halves. Jen, you know what I don't get about soccer? And a little bit about hockey, a and lot. I, I guess less so about basketball. But yeah, oh, almost anything. But um, I don't understand how plays work. How do you have a play if everyone's just like scrambling around? Like who's calling it? Is it just like if you get the ball, you go to a certain part of the field and everybody knows like, okay, if this player is in that part of the field, then it's instigating this play? So honestly, I'm not like well equipped to answer, but like my, of the knowledge I have, there are formations that you have. Okay. Um, but I mean, it is, it is a dynamic sport in that you're like moving with it, but so is a lot of sports. Like calling kind of basketball, right? Like how does basketball work if they're like- Right, I don't get it either. The yeah, but they I mean, just, they're a, yelling to each other. That is a little bit more of like, basketball is more of a start and stop game than soccer is, but like, that's my understanding of it. But again, I'm actually not like, like these are all questions that my brother would be able to answer. Yeah. Because yeah. he knows everything about almost every sport except for maybe golf, tennis. Maybe golf. Hockey? Like, but even that, he probably knows more than me on all three of those. Well. Can we do a show for the PGA Tour? Sure. Or whatever? The Golden Tee Championship? We can do whatever we want that people vote on. <laughs> True. True. And you know what? True words never been spoken. Do you, like, do you like golf that much, Leo? <laughs> I had a... Christmas party. I, I was one of the last people there, and we ended up just chilling out, watching golf on TV, and it was surprisingly fun. I man, it was surprisingly good to, to, to talk over. Yeah, and it's kind of relaxing if you're just even by yourself watching golf. It has like a a zen like quality. You can really get peaceful just if the commentators or announcers have a really smooth, calming voice in golf. It's kind of cool. It's okay, also interesting are... because like 15 people in the tournament just weren't on screen because they weren't in the lead, so they just never showed them. But people are just like playing golf behind the people you're watching mm. the mm -hmm. whole time. Okay, these this is like a 10 a.m. tall boy overtime thought, like the level <laughs> of what I've formed right here. Yeah, the floor but is yours. Do you think there are weeks, and I guess check and let us know because they are the people that vote, um, presumably, <laughs> that people show up to the new show plus poll and they're just like, I don't like any of these and they just vote on something like does that mm. how often do you think that happens they're disgusted like by the choices so good, uh, maybe because we get flattered too much i normally just see people be like how am i supposed to choose these are all so good but again everyone's a kiss right? ass in like, the midnight community just that good or are there weeks where people are like yo what are they talking about what is this my yeah. total guess is is that there are a contingent of people that don't watch New Show Plus, but sure. pick the most chaotic option. I, I think, think that's, that's right. like a quarter of the votes. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> my so personal too. theory. This one's for the lead. Yeah, I think so. Or like, or maybe there are those quiet people on Patreon who see the options and they're like, these jackasses. I'm so sick of them playing yeah. sports and stuff. And they just like choose Hampton the most. especially. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But they just choose the most basic thing of like, you know, if we have the option of like, hey, we play. Is this not over? They just no. scored. No, no, no. These but are they're old still rules. going. Yeah, we're still going. Um, but they just choose for like just. I mean, you keep saying old rules. I thought sudden death were the old rules. 
Jeff, you think I'm confident in anything I'm saying right now, man? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Um, kind of like sussing it out, you know? Well, the choosing chaos thing, I understand. That's why I was shocked that the Wii Sports-esque curling on ice did not win this week. Isn't that... It was really close, though, right? It was decently close. It was it was decently close. But I really I, thought for sure. I like that it didn't. I, I yeah. Sometimes it sucks when we're like, oh, we, what's our ideas we have? Oh, we have this one. And then what's the three that we know are going to lose to this one clear winner? Right. So it's nice that we can be surprised by that. Because it's like if we have one real world one and one where we're just remote, I feel like real world was just taking it every single time last year. And yeah. now it seems like it's more of a toss up. I think people like watching us eat food, too, though. I think those are kind of neck and neck. Sickos, you're saying? Yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't what? use that term. Oh. Do you think we could have a show, Jeff, um, that's just called I'm Restaurant? Scared. And it's just like us going to a restaurant and just streaming the entire process of like talking to the waiter and everything? I mean, we sent Leo to Taco Bell. I guess. And that did Gangbusters. And we had a picnic episode, and that was, that was also <laughs> Gangbusters. Restaurant is the natural evolution. I think so, too. Yeah. I think maybe we even talked about it for like the picnic. Did we talk about like picnic episode two restaurant? Wasn't that a joke we were gonna do? I think. It might have even been in the poll. I forget. <laughs> I think it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kansas City doing it, and they're charging down the field again. No one can stop this train. What a comeback from KC. Absolutely. I will say it's always so funny when like, you know, obviously we're not all on New Show Plus every week because it depends on what we go up for and what gets mm -hmm. voted for. But whenever I have to like tell Isaiah like what I'm doing, it's yeah. always just like the most chaotic random set of words <laughs> strung together. Yep. I'm like, they're doing this and I'm hosting or like they're doing this. <laughs> like, it's just, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, we gotta go to the grocery store cause I gotta get some wings. I, I love it. I know it's not cool to say that I love a Min Max show, but I really, I do love it. I love just having that like rapid fire scramble in the morning of like, okay, what do I need to buy if this wins the poll overnight? And like, it, it feels like Christmas morning every Tuesday to wake up and check that poll and be like, what's it going to be? Do I have to go sledding today? Okay, <laughs> great. We really, to be fair to the sledding fans out there, we, we screwed them pretty bad, Jeff, um, by having episode two, us playing a sledding, a a uh, sled storm video game, but it's like, it was like five degrees outside. It was, yeah. I feel bad for that one, but we had to realistically for our own sanity. We had to sand but maybe that it, option. Maybe it shook faith in the curling show. People oh. said this won't even get an episode two. Why would I vote for this series? I wonder if anyone's oh, thinking that deeply. Do you think anyone's like, I'm going for like the win <laughs> on this vote? <laughs> yeah. I was spurned last time by yeah. an outdoor winter sports episode right if my never show, again if it doesn't go five episodes it's not even a real show that, i, I just like won't get any closure wax, the wax solution would be like i do the outdoor winter sport but i'm in los angeles so it's like just yeah. regular time yeah. That'd be good. you know we never ever said that there are only four options for new show plus like what if we just did one week and we just put like every option that we have in our dock right now just went bananas yeah. it'd be a waste of our content stockpile, but it'd be kind of fun at the same time. I love it. I mean, have we ever said that ones that don't get voted on, we can never vote on again? No, we Is can. Is that an official that's kind of like rule? like the new show overflow. Yeah, new show right? overflow. Like, that's kind of the point there. But um, we have brought some back and put them back in the poll. Like, are you sure? By the way, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hang on. Did they? Is that game? They did it. Yeah! Here we go. <laughs> Go Chiefs! Big Anderson tearing it All up. All right, Chiefs yeah. are going to win 13-10. With a big comeback. So if they're losing, yep. don't get nervous. Overtime. When they lose, you know exactly what how it's going to go. And then Anderson breaks his own <laughs> neck. <laughs> I finally take my head <laughs> off. <laughs> what? Is he the Yo, quarterback? He's going crazy over here. Wasn't he the kicker? Why is he celebrating this much? I don't know. Is like, he celebrating? Why are they he still mad? focused on him? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. He's just All doing right. his own thing, you know? There you go, 13-10. Uh, if you're, you know, on those betting markets, put your house on the line because this is, this is the final score of the big Super Bowl game. Here we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for voting for this. Thanks for keeping this a silly place. We appreciate it. Uh, Leo, Janet, Jeff, um, we're all so full. Eat some wings at home, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week for a new episode of Super Party. Bye. <laughs>
Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.